This case in my book is really a mystery story. And the mystery story is very simple. What side was Patricia Hearst on? Was she, in fact, as she said, a victim throughout who was forced to rob banks, set off bombs, shoot guns? Or did she, in fact, join with her kidnappers and become a revolutionary who was a voluntary participant in an extraordinary number of crimes. This book has many themes about crime, about culture, about politics, but it's really about one person. It's about Patty Hearst, this woman who was 19 years old who was kidnapped, about whom the kidnappers knew nothing except her last name and the fact that she was a college student. But what they didn't realize is that this woman was yearning for a new life. She was engaged but unhappy with her fiance. She was in college but lo looking for a bigger world. So the kidnappers, unknown to them, found someone who was ready to change her life. And boy, did she change her life. Patty is kidnapped in February of 1974. In April, they, SLA robs the bank in San Francisco, and it's the famous security photograph of Patty with the, with the machine gun. At that point, they flee to Los Angeles, the, no, the eight kidnappers and Patty. Well, when they get to Los Angeles, they, um, they split up just for an afternoon. The six kidnappers remain in, in the house where they are hiding out, and Patty and two others, Bill and Emily Harris, go shopping and they go to a sporting goods store. And Bill and Emily Harris go inside, and Patty is alone in the car in a van with the key in the ignition, and she's waiting for Bill and Emily. Well, Bill and Emily were not master criminals, but, and what they decided to do, Bill Harris in particular, he shoplifts, he takes some stuff, and when he, cli and, and when he leaves Mel's sporting goods, the clerk, who is, as it happens, an aspiring police officer, he jumps on Bill and says, come back here with that stuff you stole. What does Patty Hearst do across the street in, in, in the van? She could leave, right? She could walk away. She could drive away. She could go to the police. But she doesn't do that. She picks up a machine gun in, that, in, that, uh, in the van and she sprays machine gun fire all over the facade of Mel's Sporting Goods in an effort to free Bill Harris. Having done that, what does she do? Once she's emptied the machine gun, she picks up another gun to, and, and fires that and actually succeeds in uh, freeing Bill and Emily Harris and they drive off uh, the three of them together. Where do they go, this being this Southern California? They go to Disneyland, and from there the story continues.